Good morning, everybody. I hope yours is going better than mine. All the women in my family are fighting right now like crazy. They're calling me, they're messaging me, and I'm just like, I'm going to film a makeup video, bye. I have about 60 messages waiting for me, and I can't deal with all the emotions and feelings right now. Go downstairs, our toaster arrived. I put it on the counter, make a piece of toast. Tom comes in and he says, we're just gonna leave the toaster right there. And I was like, no, I'm gonna wait till it cools and put it in the cupboard and put it away. He's like, I don't think it should go in the cupboard. We use it all the time. It should be on the countertop. And I said, it looks a bit big and bulky and there's a lot of, there's that cord. It just doesn't look so nice on the countertop. Why don't we put it in the cupboard and then just take it out when we need it? And he's like, but we need it all the time. What we don't need is your fruit bowl. That's stupid. We never even really use that. And I was like, but it looks pretty. The toaster doesn't look pretty. And he's like, it doesn't need, our house doesn't need to look pretty. It needs to be practical and lived in. And I was like, you know what, do what you want. Put, put it wherever you want. I'm going upstairs and filming a makeup video. I can't do it with everybody right now. You know they say if you want to test your relationship, build a house together? You don't even need to build a house together. Just put a toaster on top of the countertop and see what happens. I'm gonna create something today. I'm hoping I can bottle all my frustrations and create some masterpiece like some troubled artist. I'm just kidding, it's not that it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um, but I really wanted to create a Christmas look and not like anything crazy, like not the Christmas tree eyebrows or anything like that. Something that you could wear to a Christmas party or a Christmas dinner, especially if you don't want to buy a Christmas jumper or something. It's a way you could dress up your face and be festive with your face. Yeah, let's start. Let's see what, where this takes us. Taking some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the color One Fair, I'm applying foundation all over my face. We're just gonna breeze through these first few steps because I do them the same every video. So next is concealer with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. And as always, I add a little touch extra and let it dry a little bit longer for better coverage. For eyebrows today, I'm gonna use the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. Kinda looks like a liquid eyeliner. And I'm just gonna draw in the little hairs and a bit of Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows Mascara in the color Bridget. This coats your brow hairs and makes them look a lot thicker and it holds everything in place all day. I hate this side because there's a bunch of hairs missing in this area or something. So I have to like sort of do a comb over and move the hairs around until they cover <laughs> that area. I think that's good. I'm gonna blend out the concealer. I'm quickly setting it with KKW baking powder. Taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just setting my whole face. I like to powder my face after I do my eyebrows because I find getting a little bit of powder on them kind of softens them. And I'm just gonna quickly add a little bit of concealer to the spots I need it in. All right, now's the fun part, the eyes. I walked into Sephora looking for a palette and I saw this this packaging. This is by Pat McGrath and she is a legend in the fashion and beauty industry. She's a makeup artist. You you often see her backstage of the shows creating really, really iconic looks. So when I saw this, I immediately knew I had to get it because just look at this. It's heavy. Listen to the sound. There's so much density to that clothes and there's like a magnet, it's like the quality. So inside there are these colors and they are gorgeous. And honestly, originally I went in thinking I wanted a very red look. I was looking for some red eyeshadows. And then I saw this, tried it out, and I was like, you know what? Brownish red is gonna do just fine. I'm not even going to be using all of these, but I'm going to swatch them for you right now because I just really want to touch this gold one. I love how she uses different size sparkles, like this one is thicker and chunkier glitter, and then some are thinner and some are just shimmery, but they're all different textures and they give off totally different looks. So pretty! I'm so excited to create so many Christmas looks with this palette. So yeah, I didn't come home with the right palette, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna just use my red blush as some eyeshadow. First we're gonna prime with our Stay Don't Stray Eyelid Primer from Benefit. Then going in with this dark, slightly reddish toned brown, I'm gonna apply it to my crease. And I'm also gonna add a bit underneath. Blend it all out with a soft brush. 
Now taking this red blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, you could also use red eyeshadow, that would probably be better. I'm just popping that bright red color all over my eyelid. And I'm taking it a bit over towards my nose. Also add some to your lower eyelid. And I'm taking it a bit down under it. And just blend it out. Now using this shimmery reddish color, I'm just gonna get a bit on my finger and pop it right on the center of my eyelids. Now taking a brown eyeliner, you can use a pencil, gel, liquid, whatever you like. I'm using a pencil because for me it's just easier to sketch. You're gonna sketch out a reindeer antler. some of the edges with a concealer pencil from Makeup Forever. Now I'm just adding a bit of that dark brown shadow that I used before. The sun keeps changing. I didn't get my lights yet. I just checked today. It's the 8th. Should have been here by the 8th. They've been delayed two times. And this morning when I checked, they were shipped to British Columbia. They were coming from Ottawa but they took the route of going to British Columbia and then Toronto. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, I'm using one ring light and the sun. So if the lights keep changing, that is why. I'm trying to just like move my camera around the settings. But sometimes it might be too bright. Anyways, I'm happy with this. I think they're pretty symmetrical now. Next, I'm gonna add a bit of sparkles. These guys are just from the Sephora brand here. I want to add a bit more definition in my eyes, so I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and just softly lining my eyes. I'm also going to add some definition to my lower lash line. Now taking my light beige pencil, I'm going to line my waterline. The reason why I choose a beige color is because when you put it against your white eyes, it, it really brightens your eyes and makes them look big and fresh and awake. Okay, now taking this white, slightly pinky, shimmery white color, I'm just gonna brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. And also my brow bone. For mascara, I'm using the Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Long Long Long. Mascara. It adds these little extensions to your eyelashes and makes them look really long. And I always just do an even coat on the top of my lashes first and then I lift them. And I'm moving my lashes to an outward direction because I want to bring everything this way. Taking half of a long fluttery lash. Now just one more coat of mascara to stick them together and we're done the eyes. Taking my Benefit Hula, I'm gonna contour a bit under my cheekbones and around my jawline and my forehead. Taking this middle red color from my Anastasia Beverly Hills blush palette, I'm going to apply some blush, whoa. as well as my nose. I'm doing a makeup video. Wah! It's like a tattoo baby. Is it cute? Is it a cute tattoo? Yeah, it's cute. Thank you. Did you move the toaster? In a nice place. Now taking my Jeffree Star highlight palette, I'm gonna use Ice Cold. It's a goldish highlighter. And I want a good glow over here. A little bit here. And using my fingertip, I can be more precise like this. I'm gonna apply a bit to the tip of my nose. Okay, now lips. For lips, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection Color in Ochre. 
I'm not gonna apply it precisely. I'm gonna take a bit of it on my finger and I wanna focus in the center and just smudge it around. I'm going a bit over my natural lip line. My lips are really dry. I'm gonna make a line down the center of my lips with my red lip liner and I'm also gonna add a bit to the bottom of the top lip. Now using a bit of the same Jeffree Star highlighter, I'm gonna add a bit to my bottom lip and Cupid's bow. Finally, because my lips are dry as heck and cracking and I also wanna add a bit of shine, I'm just gonna add a bit of this Carmex lip balm. You could add gloss or you could just stop here. This before, but I really wanna try because I think freckles look so adorable. So I'm gonna add some using my brown liner again. The easiest way is to put your pencil liner here and twist it and then it makes a good size circle. I feel like adding a bit more sparkle to the look so I'm gonna do just that. I'm adding these little stars. I just stuck some eyelash glue on them. So that goes... oh. Okay, finally I just wanna add a bit more sparkles around the stars. All right, we made it. This was what I was going for. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It took a little bit. It took me about four hours to get here, especially because the sun keeps ch changing. It's like a cloudy day, so the sun's coming in and out. I have to keep readjusting my camera, but I'm loving it. I feel like it takes Christmas glam to a whole new level that is fun and it would be great for a party or even just to try for Instagram. If you feel like playing around with some makeup and taking a picture, I think it can be really cute. Please tag me if you do do that. I'd love to see the way you transform this look. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye. I can't even have one cable out inside this house. You have to hide everything. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Should we have an on YouTube therapy session? <laughs> Look at this, so much better. It's fine. Yeah, so... Compromise! There's no cable showing. He can still have his toaster out on the counter like he insists. And my fruit bowl is still alive and well.